The co-worker that refuses to use the correct pronouns for me claims to be bisexual and she stands up and goes, when I came out as bisexual, everybody was mad at me. I don't get it. No one's afraid of you. No one's picking on you. You're making everything about you. All right. So this video right here is from a grown adult who has a complete breakdown over being misgendered at work. She had a huge breakdown for being misgendered. <laughs> Because she told her employees, her fellow employees and co-workers time and time again that she no longer goes by she. She goes by them and they. Why can't they get it through their thick skulls? And it turns out that her co-worker is also bi. So she really don't understand. She's like, yo, what's going on? And her supervisor did not, I guess, didn't stand up for her in the way that she wanted them to stand up for. Her. But that's her business. But let's check this out. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments this is going to be dope i'm looking forward to checking it out with you all all right let's go hi calling friends nobody's picking up so i just i'm gonna dump this here it's the middle of the day i completely understand but i just had a really harrowing experience at work i have this one co-worker who simply refuses to use the correct pronouns for me i've called her out every time she misgenders me and listen i say this with all the love in my heart all the love in my heart okay feel free to go by whatever gender you want to go by but don't expect people to follow those rules not every Everyone wants to play along. That's it. Not everyone wants to play along because for you is a real thing. For you is a real thing. But if you have to work in a building with other people, please do not expect everyone to go along. These are rules that you decide to play and you decide to move by. All right. This is your life. All right. This is the reason why you're the one that's hurt and other people that are involved are not. And she just is resigned to not change. And today just broke something in me. I just snapped. I ended up yelling at her after the third time she misgendered me and within like 30 minutes like they they i use they them pronouns and she got so defensive and i just started explaining to her like i'm sick and tired of the shit like you need to at least make an attempt and she popped off got upset got defensive what are you gonna do about it and i just said i'm gonna be really hurt and sad like that's all i can do about it and the worst part is that at that point, my boss, who claims to be so woke and like happy and joyous and making a safe, positive environment for everybody, gangs up on me with her and says like, this is Carson, like, shut up. This is not the time for a political statement. <laughs> and I, I mean, if you're at work, they're not lying. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. I, don't, I mean, I, they're not lying. You're at work. You're at work to work. You're not at work to express yourself gender wise. You're not at work to, to be they, them. You're at work to do their work for them, your company. Your company is the they, them. You are at work to do their work for them. Do your part for them. At the office, your company is the them. You are you and they are them. Once you get back into your car and you about to leave, then you can be back to they, them all you want. But when you're at work, it don't work that way. Like, that's just, that's what I have so far. I was upset, rightfully so, but was t trying to take such a level-headed approach to it of like, this is not a political statement. My identity is not a political statement. It's just my identity. All I'm asking you to do is respect that. It's your identity and they respect it. They're just not playing along. And it really is within our own community <laughs> that people have the most rampant transphobia. I, the coworker that refuses to use the correct pronouns for me claims to be bisexual and she stands up and goes, when I came out as bisexual, everybody was mad at me. It's like She claims to be bisexual, but she can't be bisexual. You can't be bisexual if you're not accepting my pronouns. How do you claim to be bisexual? And you're not accepting my pronouns. It's not called transphobia if people don't play along. No one's afraid of you. Phobia is being afraid of something. No one is afraid of you. You're the one that's crying in your car because they and them would not call you those pronouns. They and them. I don't get it. No one's afraid of you. No one's picking on you. You're making everything about you. You're making everything about you. Like when you lost your sugar honey iced tea, you said they, they, them. I go by they, them. I identify. Identify as. And if you don't respect my pronouns, then you must be afraid of me because you must be transphobic. I don't believe it worked that way. That's just me, though. Like, then why are you mad at the trans kid? Like, what? You want to inflict that same pain onto me? Why? 
it's so frustrating because then my boss spins it around as like I'm the one who's making a scene and is being like over emotional or over sensitive and it's like all I am asking is for you to make an attempt to try and respect my gender identity trust me they are making it an attempt by not making fun of you by making sure they're nice when you're around by making sure that they don't call you um, call you ma'am or miss those mean words like um, um, like girl they're not going to call you a girl that because if they call you a girl I'm sure they could probably be fired for that or written up or something their pay get docked but they're trying but simply because they won't do it exactly your way you can't continue to cause a scene bruh and I know if I call you bruh that probably make you proud but at the end of the day come on they them really <sighs> And they're both just going at me like, this is not the time. We're trying our best. You should be compassionate and understanding. You should just accept it with love and move on. Like, <laughs> it's so frustrating. I literally was shaking so hard. I just got up and left. I came to the beach. I didn't know what else to do. I was so mad. But this is just so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to be out and be vocal about it. It's so hard to stand up for yourself because either you are a doormat or you're the bitch <laughs> that like is over emotional and calls everybody out for the either you are the doormat or you are a bitch for being over emotional and they're picking on you and they're going in on you. Let me tell you something, young lady or young man, whatever one you want to be called or both. If you want to be called that getting up and leaving work because you're frustrated and just going to the beach because of your pronouns. Honestly, if I was your supervisor, I would have reprimanded you for that. You're not going to get no attitude because your pronouns aren't being called the way that you like. That's the society we're in nowadays. What makes absolutely no sense. Men are no longer men. Women are no longer women. We have to play within these gray areas that are made up every single year. New rules. It shouldn't be that way for a company. The company is there to make money and to provide a service and to um, provide a product or service product and or services. To someone for the um for the sake of making money that's it you need to be there for that that's called being i mean that's business they hired you for that they didn't hire you to express your genderism your sexuality they didn't hire you for that that wasn't a part of the interview i'm certain it wasn't i'm i'm certain it wasn't they weren't going to hire you if you um if you called yourself a he or a her or any of that but you're turning everything into this is about me and my life and i feel disrespected and y'all are jumping on me and y'all are picking on me and I can't take it around here because all I, all you have to do is show me the respect of calling me what I ask you to call me. I'm sure they are. They're not. When you say being a bitch, did they call you a bitch? Did they call you that? I doubt that. It doesn't sound like it. It sounds like you're extremely up at arms. Maybe they was laughing in your face, making you feel some type of way. I tell my kids this all the time. I don't have the power to make you feel any type of way. If I say something that's that's not appealing to you, um, now you have a decision to make. Are you going to allow that to affect you or not? I don't have the power to make you feel any type of way. Maybe that's just a tough way of looking at things. Maybe it's just idiotic and a simpleton's way of looking at things. But I don't think I have that type of power by simply not playing your games. Guys, if you are in the community that you want people to call you all these different pronouns and you won't even consider regular as men and women as as regular men and women, but you want to put a pronoun in before that, you're not respecting them by calling them cis men and cis, um, cis women, cisgender men, cisgender women. Nah, it don't work that way. I just now posted something on Instagram and it was a picture of a rainbow t-shirt that says there are more than two genders. It was a t-shirt that says there are more than two genders and it was written in rainbow. And then when you went to go check out on the website to buy that shirt because they were selling that shirt on the website, when you went to go buy it, it wanted to know if you wanted it in men or women. <laughs> So the t-shirt itself says that there are more than two genders, but you can only buy it in two genders. Please help me figure that one out. I don't get it. I just think people are really silly. And then you call, then you say that the phobia, they have transphobia They They fear you. They hate you and they fear you because they won't call you them and they.
And I bet you made a scene about this. That's the reason why you decided to post it online. It probably went viral all over social, I mean, all over TikTok, all over X, whatever the case may be, because there's a huge community out there that support this mess. I love everyone and I will never blatantly disrespect anyone. But what you're not going to do is tell me what respectable gender, I, I mean, what respectable pronoun to call you. If, if that's the case, act like I don't exist and I'll act like you don't exist because I just won't refer to you in conversation at all. So I won't even mispronoun you or misgender you or whatever it's called, right? Still love you though. That's just crazy, man. That's just crazy.